Hi everyone, 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with a Weather Now update. We are in a Pinpoint Weather 12 alert for strong high winds and some heavy rainfall for late tonight into Monday. High wind warning that is now issued across coastal Connecticut, all of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Again, gusts as high as 60 to 65 miles per hour in those spots. Further inland where you see that orange shading, that's a wind advisory. So the winds maybe not quite as strong, but still gusting to 40 to 50 miles per hour there. Also, a flood watch issued for interior sections of our area. So that includes Kent County, Providence County, and also Northern Bristol County. And uh, that's for, again, rainfall amounts of two to four inches of rain. That's until 7 p.m. on Monday. And then also, of course, we live near the bay in the water. A coastal flood watch has been uh, posted since yesterday for Narragansett Bay. That's for the noon high tide cycle on Monday. Could cause some problems there. Notice the coastal flood warning across Long Island and coastal Connecticut as some serious uh, problems there with coastal flooding are expected. We could also see that upgraded as well. Providence looking dry, cloudy though, cool. Temperatures near 40 in Providence and uh, 47 in westerly, 44 in Newport. Radar's quiet for this morning. We should see some showers arrive this afternoon with heavier, steadier rain arriving overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Looking at the uh, wind gust forecast, you can see here gusts in that red shaded area, anywhere from about 50 to 65 miles per hour. Uh, the higher end of those you know, winds, I would say, would be found further east. So I'm talking Cape Cod, the islands. That's the best chance of seeing those highest wind gusts, but certainly uh, could see some of those across the, uh, you know, even the interior sections as well. Then as uh, I hide my screen here, you can see as those, uh, as you go further west, those winds kind of do let off a little bit. So here's what to expect. Of course, we've been talking about the winds, the gusty winds. So th the gusts are going to be, again, very high, but also the sustained wind. So that's the constant wind that is going the entire time will be between about 25 and 35 miles per hour. So even those high gusts are not just the only thing we're talking about. It's going to be windy and you know, blustery the entire time. Also adding those power outages, certainly potentially uh, across our area, favoring eastern areas. Street flooding, one to four inches of rain as well. Coastal flooding, as I mentioned, and we're watching the rivers and streams also. I apologize for my voice. Uh, I have a little bit of tickle in my throat, so uh, maybe tough for me to talk at times, but uh, we'll try to get through this here. So let's keep on going. Hour by hour forecast here, you can see that storm system at uh, noontime on Sunday to the south across Georgia and the Carolinas. That's going to be making its way further north and uh, eventually giving us heavy rain and wind again overnight into Monday. That Monday morning commute does look rough. Give yourself extra time, plan accordingly, because we're going to have some very strong winds, potential power outages, debris on the road, you know, from fallen branches, and of course, potential flooding from the rainfall as well. So a lot going on for that Monday morning commute. You can see all of that moisture streaming through even into the afternoon. Here's 1.30 on Monday, still dealing with wind, rain, and uh, some of that rain heavy at times as it pushes on through, low pressure passes to the west of us. That means we're on the windier side of the storm. Colder air and uh, drier air works in on the back side for later Monday and uh, into Tuesday. So for this morning, cloudy skies, cool temperatures uh, in the 40s to around 50. And then as we go into this afternoon, we're going to be seeing some showers develop. And uh, that shower activity continues during the uh, evening hours before becoming a steadier, heavier rain overnight tonight. Strong winds, heavy rain. Those constant winds again, 15 to 20 miles per hour gusting higher at times, but especially on Monday, looking at a uh, pinpoint weather 12 alert here with heavy rain, thunderstorms, very strong winds again, gusts up to 60 to 65 miles per hour on Monday. So again, plan accordingly for that Monday morning commute and uh, definitely charge your batteries or charge your phones, your devices, and to have those batteries ready. And uh, also check those sump pumps as well because we have some very heavy rain in the way in addition to the strong winds. So. That is your latest weather update. Thank you for tuning in. We'll have more updates throughout the weekend and into the morning hours. Take care.